Good morning. Good morning. I studied so we don't need luck. Pink pants and so. Roast me for my sleep schedule. Don't sleep at 7 p.m. like you. my friend to go to library now. This is so weird to me though because I usually wake up around this time but I just stay at home and study. I've never been to library this early or met another human being this early because usually not many people are awake. So this is gonna be fun. Good morning. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see the scales. Yeah, I was actually kind of worried that you wouldn't make it because you're not necessarily a morning person. I just wanted you to try your schedule to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to see how a productive medical student study and go about their day. Okay. Yeah, it should be interesting. Let's get productive together. Where else could we go that doesn't need a car? I realized that I forgot my uni card. <laughs> Good stop. <laughs> no, I don't think at 5 a.m. without a uni card we can get in uni. Mm. But then shall we just try our luck rather than going back? If there are people in, they could let us in. Hopefully. <laughs> stop taking us out. The time. It is 9.50 now. How long did I sleep for? Half an hour. Really? I don't feel like it. Mm. If you're not a morning person, if you can like study better in the evening, I don't think there was any reason for you to wake up early. If it's not your thing, no. No, it's okay. I just, I just didn't have that much sleep last night. Mm. I don't sleep at 7 p.m. like you. <laughs> I sleep 8, 7.30, 8 sometimes, yeah. yeah. That's not normal people hours, so. <laughs> that might not be average, but it is normal. The world is still running at 8 p.m. Okay, well, I'm not miserable <laughs> like you are right now. So far I've been doing practice questions because I have my final medical knowledge exam of the year in a week. So to not hate myself for how little I studied when the exam stress comes upon, I've made a realistic plan to be able to cover all the topics before the exam. If I have enough time, I choose to dedicate each day to a specific subject, especially if it's one that I struggle with or one that comes up a lot in the exams, then I prioritize those. For example, I'm focusing on pediatrics, which is child health for the whole day today because it's a huge speciality and we get lots of questions on it in the exam. And how is your studying going in and what are you studying? I'm doing a master's in clinical biochemistry. My exam is in three days, three days. Sorry, why is it there looking? Oh, well, obviously I would look at it as well if yeah. someone was holding a camera. And I got another one in five days. I hope everything will be fine. Yeah, yeah. it'll be fine, hopefully. Yeah. to get some breakfast brunch it's super sunny right now it's like 24 degrees which is really hot for the uk and i forgot to put sunscreen on because when we left in the morning it was still not light outside yeah. but i've got some in the bag so i'm gonna put it on now i can't believe i'm doing this right now like outside i should have done it when we were still in the library but it feels like summer <laughs> yeah, I can see it. You want to shoot? It's gone. Too much of a hassle. <laughs> 
before we continue with the rest of the video, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring. I started my YouTube channel a year ago with the help of classes I took on Skillshare. The only class I learned editing from before I posted my first video ever on YouTube was Ali Abdel's video editing with Final Cut Pro Skillshare class. Summertime is here and I think it's a great time to learn and explore your creative and career options. Skillshare has classes on how to start a business and refine your branding or if you want to have more time for yourself there are classes on time management and productivity. Each class is succinct and to the point and have these timestamps where you can skip to the parts you want to learn from. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get one month free trial of Skillshare. I'm going to do some pediatrics questions on Anki under the sun. My bum, my butt is getting a little wet. Mine's already wet and I can't accept it. Now. Both COPD and asthma are obstructive. We know asthma is like not getting the air out. So Yen is reading his book. Oh yeah. You show it. Be like, I'm reading this book. I'm reading this book. <laughs> Thinking fast and slow. <laughs> I'm reading this book. It's called Thinking Fast and Slow. Talking fast there. Thinking fast. You talked fast there, that's what I meant. It was a joke anyway. I've been studying outdoors on this beautiful day rather than being stuck inside, which has been so nice. But I feel like this can be tricky, especially if it's a public space, there are lots of distractions and it can get uncomfortable. But there are study techniques that work quite well outdoors. For example, active recalling by doing quick flashcards or listening to voice notes, so anything that doesn't require lots of equipment or a controlled space. Like I would struggle to write down an essay outdoors. Good. The thing is we got the takeaway price because it was cheaper but now we gotta eat outside. Do you wanna like take a bite of this and that together? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna feed you. Why would you feed me? We can finish the rest. Oh. What happened? But I thought some like earthly chocolate. Starting to feel a bit sleepy. I've still got lots to do. It's not good. <laughs> this is. Yeah, I think that's bad, bad poo. Yeah. It's because you're so lucky. Yeah, I hope all these luck goes to make sense. Let's study so we don't need luck. exactly how I feel. I wake up early naturally and then I just need to go to sleep early. Well thanks for joining me and, and trying out my sleep schedule. Yeah it was pretty fun. Yeah it was pretty fun to roast me for my sleep schedule probably. No it works for you so that's good. Nice. I'm proud of you for like even waking up to be honest. Yeah and you're gonna wake up before. <laughs> 